Stormy Daniels finished her time on the witness stand with combative exchanges over whether she sought to extort Donald Trump in 2016 for money. Defense attorneys for the former president focused their cross-examination of Daniels on her credibility. That was after she spent her first day on the stand sharing graphic details about their alleged sexual encounter. Trump is barred from commenting on Daniels by a gag order. That order prevents him from responding to any of the witnesses who attack him publicly outside of court, including Michael Cohen. Walking into the courtroom, Trump said his team was escalating the fight against the gag order. We just filed a major motion in the appellate division concerning the absolutely unconstitutional gag order where I'm essentially not allowed to talk to you about anything meaningful that's going on in the case. During cross-examination, defense attorneys focused intensely on how Daniels was looking to sell her story of a years-old affair with Trump during the 2016 election. They noted she could have shared the story for free, but she instead chose to take $130,000 from Trump in exchange for her silence. Trump's team also pressed her on other ways she's cashed in on her ties to Trump, including by selling a candle depicting her as a, quote, saint of indictments. Daniels has made clear in front of the jury that she hates Trump and hopes to see him go to jail. After she left the stand, Prosecutors called a Trump Organization bookkeeper who spoke about the payment at the heart of the case. It's unclear how the jury will take Stormy Daniels' testimony. However, Trump's defense attorneys have signaled they will keep pushing for a mistrial because of her appearance. Sarah Bedford for The Washington Examiner.